Kimberly Cheadle, the Secret Service boss, has been pushing for diversity in hiring and working with YouTube influencers. CBS News, on the other hand, is ramping up its female recruitment and engaging with influencer Michelle Carey. To expand hiring, they're aiming to have 30% women recruits by 2030 and even allowed YouTube influencer Michelle Carey to train with agents. But I'm very conscious uh, as, uh, as I sit in this chair now of making sure that we need to uh, attract diverse candidates and ensure that we are developing and giving opportunities to everybody in our workforce, um, and particularly women. That workforce will be pivotal for the 2024 campaign season, which for the first time includes a former president who already has lifetime protection. Trump. Agents were there when Donald Trump was arraigned in New York. We were able to work out the details ahead of time of how that uh, particular uh, day was going to go. Um, but we will always ensure the safety of all of our protectees that we have. The service has a zero fail mission. Admission officers are training to a pole, pretending this field is the most famous address in America. However, the focus should be on competency and qualifications rather than diversity quotas. Cheadle's emphasis on diversity recruitment, seen by some as a biased and politically driven move, has sparked concerns about undermining the principle of meritocracy, especially for critical roles in organizations with zero fail missions. Prioritizing diversity can sometimes overshadow the necessary qualifications and experiences needed for Secret Service agents. The public believes that effectiveness in performing tasks regardless of gender or background, should be the primary criterion. While engaging YouTube influencer Michelle Carey aims to connect with younger audiences, there's a risk that this approach might dilute the Secret Service's expertise and the seriousness of its mission. Many people feel that initiatives focused on diversity and social media engagement erode the Secret Service's core security functions. The government's push for these changes is seen as a call to return to more traditional hiring and training methods, prioritizing merit and capability over gender-based recruitment. 